Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marcus Aurelius, and this is Mountain Blade Warband, Savanapum Mahayud, and we are telling the story, the tale, of Frigoberto, Frigoberto de Valencia. And as you can see here, some things have changed in Frigoberto's life since our last episode. I've actually been running Frigoberto around fighting numerous lords. I've probably fought about a hundred battles, honestly, and doing the kind of stuff that you have to do in Mountain Blade to get anywhere, making lords like you, making villages like you, gaining renown, gaining money, but that don't make for very entertaining Let's Play episodes. But throughout the adventures of Frigoberto, Frigoberto never did reclaim his village of Pimai. However, he was gifted the citadel of Tavoy on the western shores of Siam, deep in the lands of Tongu, where now he must bravely defend his small possession from enemy attack. It's actually a really cool little fort and his banner. Looks quite amazing. So some other things have changed in Frigoberto's life. Frigoberto is currently in the process of wooing a young noblewoman. However, her father will not consent to a match. Frigoberto has tried strongly to get her father on his side by following him around and helping him with his battles, and that certainly has yielded good results, but not great ones. He still will not consent. Actually, now that I have a chest, let's put some stuff in it. Oh, Frigoberto also purchased a number of books. I'm afraid, though, if I ever lose this chest that I'm going to... Or lose this keep that I'm going to lose this stuff. I'm a little worried about that. I don't know. You can let me know in the comments what happens if you have a one fife and you put stuff in the chest and it gets lost, if that stuff is lost as well. Until then, I won't do it. These are my faithful men, the Jatulankabarts. And this is actually quite a defensible little place. There's Shopper Kimpy, Davi, Yamada, and Tipsuda. Not sure where Winhimu is. I like how they have troops from my army guarding the place. There's Japanese mercenary. Obviously, that's not Ayutthayan, so it's related to Frigoberto. And our defensive area is pretty nice. The gate is kind of dug down into a ditch. There's Winhimu. And I have my Portuguese mercenary here on the walls looking down at our enemies. So between episodes, Frigoberto sat down and did some meditation on life and his purpose. And as a result of this, he discovered the true leadership within himself to lead more men into battle. And what I mean when I say that is a gentleman by the name of Arcade Knight showed me how to tweak the mods files such that Frigoberto can lead more men. As you can see here, he now has a party size limit of 289, far surpassing the just over 100 that we used to have in the past. And I need to say something about Arcade Knight. Arcade Knight is a YouTube Let's Player who does exclusively Mount and Blade videos. I'm sure many of you have already heard about him because his Mount and Blade videos get way more views than mine do. And that is as it should be because he does amazing stuff. He puts every ounce of himself into his videos and he really gets into character and it is just a joy to watch his stuff. So if by some strange happenstance you have not been to his channel or seen any of his videos, I highly recommend that you do so. He actually just started a new series based on Ancient Rome of a Mountain Blade mod that I didn't even know existed. So please go say hi to Arcade Knight. I'll put a link to his page down in the information text. Not only is he a really entertaining Let's Player, but he's just a genuinely nice guy. And so I want to thank him for helping me with 
this. He actually tried to help me with morale as well to improve the morale of my guys because it's kind of sketchy now with this large size. But unfortunately, that didn't work perfectly. But I'm sure he'll be able to help with that soon. So here's the tactical situation. I'm not entirely sure how long it's been since our last video, but we are now on October 4th, 1543. With the help of Frigoberto, Ayuthaya has regained a bit of strength, although Korat still belongs to the kingdom of Lansheng. We are seeing some minor success against Portugal. And, well, Tongu is not doing as good as it can be. Maraku is doing pretty well, but really... The star of the show is the Shan Dynasty, who have just... They took care of Imphal. Imphal's gone. And they're moving down here. I think they took out Manipur as well. I'm not sure if Manipur was Imphal, or if that was a completely different country, but they, they're gone. And they're just fighting down here into Tonggu as well. Meanwhile, Lansheng is doing quite well. Mac is holding on, to a degree. And, of course, Vietnam... Is still doing quite well. They've completely taken out all the lands of the Mac, and I, for the most part, think that when I start my own kingdom, I'm going to try to base it out of Lang Song and try to take this Mac corridor here. Not only are we guarded by Ming rebels, but it provides a very limited avenue of approach for enemies. It's very defensible. So that might be what we do. We'll see. But for right now, I think what Frigoberto wants to do is he wants to go and see if he can't make better friends with his potential wife's father. Let's see here. Actually, that's not what I want. I want reports and courtship. So her name is Lady Srita, and our relation is at 48. It's gotten to the point where even if I win a tournament, which I have done many times, and dedicate it to her, it only improves her liking of me by one. She's like, oh, that's nice. Another tournament dedication. Thanks a lot, buddy. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. Our budget is really good. Even with all of our buildings under sequestration, we're still in the positive. Although, our slave income is tremendous. We're nearing 1,000 slaves, I think. So that's 10,000 a turn, which is really nice. Frigoberto's been doing some reading, and so his leadership is up to six, which is kind of a good thing, but kind of not, because I might have been convinced to raise my charisma another three and get six naturally, and then bump it up to seven through a book, but now it's too late. Now, in order to bump it up any higher than it is, I'd have to get to 21 or six levels, which is really hard to achieve at level 30. So I think I'm just going to stick with putting everything into intelligence to get more points, you know, and get the stuff I need, like persuasion, which is really important for dealing with lords, pathfinding, of course, and surgery. I think Frigoberto is pretty beefy as it is. I'm not worried about him falling in battle, especially with his really good armor. Didn't notice here that I had leftover weapon points. So. He's also really adept at training, and so we've been picking up a lot of peasants and teaching them the ways of war. But that is what Frigoberto do. His name's Frigoberto de Valencia. He is now a landed lord of Ayutthaya. His friends are Winham Mew and tip suda and don't forget shopper kimpy davi and sema charging on his brave steed tiki from village to town thinking about the future one day he'll wear a crown he wakes with the sunrise he's got a plan to one day be the most powerful king in all of Siam. Welcome to the lands of Ayutthaya. Such a lovely place. Such a lovely place. 
Leading a war band around the land of Ithia. Gonna fight for right. Gonna fight for right. Let's take a look at our salt mine. Yep, 960 prisoners. We are indeed quite, quite advanced. And for those of you who are wondering what just happened, that is my little Frigoberto rendition of Hotel California. I hope it wasn't too traumatic for you and those you love. But we need to find Lady Sarita's pops. So let's let's do that right now. Everybody's here. It's a party. Is she not here? I guess she's not here. Hey, Lady Hathirat. Where is Lady Sarita? Oh, that's your daughter! I didn't even know! She's currently at Ayutthaya. No, I don't think that she is. But since I know that you are her mother, where is your husband? No, I didn't, I didn't ask who is your husband. Ah, he's been taken captive again. He's quarrelsome, right? So he continues to be taken captive. Can I win your favor? No. That's okay. What do you think about perhaps me and your daughter? You cool with that? Is that alright? Is that alright? Is that alright? Don't know where she is. Maybe she's just hanging out. Or... No, she's definitely not here. Let's try again. Do the people change? Do they refresh? No, I guess they don't. Interesting. I could attempt to visit her, but I will not. By the way, Ayuthaya is devoted to me. Not sure why. I don't know why that's raising up so high. Although the Portuguese did attempt to siege Ayuthaya, and I was the only lord defending it. However, they broke off the attack before anything could happen. So we have yet to see. We have yet to see if the city may fall, even with just the aid of Frigoberto. Let's take a look at Korat. It would be so nice to win it back from these Lanshang fools. Although, I think we're not at war with them anymore, actually. We also have Rassia Therapist and Fu Archer, who seem at this point to be long-term hires. They don't appear to be pissy or want to leave. So that's good. As you can see, I'm keeping my Jatalanka Barts and Siamese Sharpshooters down here at the bottom so they don't die in battle. I'm trying really hard to build up a good force of them so I could start taking castles on my own because it's pretty apparent that the lords of Ayutthaya are not interested in helping Frigoberto in his quest to rid the world of evil. That's okay. More Kroon Guard. Kroon Guard are pretty decent too. I should probably move them down to the bottom. Where are my Kroon Guard? There they are. I have 40 of them. Holy wow. It's a lot of Kroon Guard. Their weekly wage isn't that good. Let's actually take a look at them. Hello, miss. Tell me about yourself. Alright, so yeah, there you have it. Three Iron Flesh, three Power Strike. Not entirely good. Level 22. Whereas, if you compare them to the Jatulanka Barts, Seven Iron Flesh, five Power Strike, 75 Health, level 25. So, yeah, Kroon Guard might wear the same armor, but they definitely don't have the same chops. How do they compare to the Sharpshooters? Okay, they compare pretty favorably to the Sharpshooters, who only have one Iron Flesh and one Power Strike. However, they have 140 Firearms, and the Kroon Guard have... 120. Okay, so they're still, they're not as good as the sharpshooters, but they're still pretty decent, and again, they're armored quite well. I'm always interested when you look at the equipment of a regular unit, because they always have so much random stuff that they never use. Like, I've never seen a Kroon Guard go into battle with a war axe. And why would she need three Dob Swords and a Noble Dob Sword and all this stuff? I've never, and they have two shields? It's funny. Alright, well, let's keep moving. And actually, Kroon Guard, since you aren't that special, 
We'll put you back up to be of use to us. All right. I was going to find out who we were at war with. All right. It's vassals of Frigoberto de Valencia. So Portugal, Johor, Lana, and Longvec. All right. So let's... Let's go play with Longvec. That sounds like fun. At least until we can find out what happened to Lady Sarita's pops. Let's see how many people are at Angkor. Angkor, I presume, is the uh, same Angkor that is still a popular destination today for travelers. Bantie Niang on Okia Hitam. Well, I'd really like a village. I'd really like a village, because villages are just easy money. Let's see, Angkor has 357. See, that's a lot. Even at full strength, Frigoberto's not really capable of that kind of violence. What else do we got? That's really the closest one. Kampong Tom probably wouldn't be defended. What's Lana got? How about Nan? Let's see what's up in Nan. How about that? Welcome to the lands of Ayathaya. Such a lovely place. Such a lovely place. Making tons of money in the lands of Ayathaya. Alright, let's see. Night falls over the land. And let me tell you, it is so hot right now while I'm recording this that I almost feel like I'm in Ayuthaya myself. And Lana is looting left and right. That is unacceptable, Lana. That is not that is not what nice people do. Let's see. He's being chased by Ayuthayan lords. Actually, if they catch him, that'll be a good opportunity for us to build up some rep with them. Let's do that. We're going to help Okia Tynum. And we're just going to do this one off camera. And of course we lose seven, because even though we outnumber them ten to one, you know. So Okia Tynum, he's now my boy. 39, excellent. You, you are polite. You can go home. He likes me too. Frigoberto is much loved in the world. People can sense, you know. They can sense that he is a great leader. Let's take some peasant women. Let's take some village patrollers. And why the hell not? Let's take some farmers. We need the troops. We don't want any of that. Okay, let's take a look at Nan. Old Nan. More village patrollers. Sharpshooter, excellent. Veteran bandits. I've been trying to build up rep with the Japanese settlement because I really like Japanese mercenaries and that you get them from there. I like the Arabian mercenaries a bit less, so I don't really care that much about Arabian settlement. But I think it's cool that there are actually towns where you can go to get specific types of mercenaries. Alright. Nan has how many defenders? Holy crap. Pretty much all of Lana. And I can't even... I can't even read that. That's terrible. What is... What the heck? Yeah, why is... Why is it so much smaller than... Everything else, like I look at mine, this is big and clear, and I could read it quite well. I look at Nan, and it is almost impossible to read. That is some interesting stuff, but okay, that's fine. That's fine, Frigoberto is... Oh! My mistress would like to speak with me. Or her mistress. Or... Yeah, we'll do that in just a minute. But for now, we are going to... Oh, Lam Fang or Lam Fun? Do I want Fang? Do I want Fun? Fang Fun. Let's take a look at them both. This one has... Come on. Come on. 327. Yeah. 309. I think if anything's worth trying, this one is. Let's upgrade whoever needs upgrading. And let's make this happen. Let's 
make sure that we are ready to go here. Another Jachulanka Bart. And another Sharpshooter. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, and all these guys too, yeah. Actually, ladies and gentlemen, this battle is probably going to last a long time. So in typical troll fashion, I'm going to end the episode here. And we'll start up next episode with the battle. But I do want to say, once again, check out Arcade Knight if you haven't already. Really great guy. Really amazing videos. Good stuff. Once again, I am Marcus Aurelius. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.